think that too many teachers are being trained considering the lack of jobs? Well, we're doing a planning of the entire, we're, we're doing a, no, a radical overhaul of the entire education system. We're reviewing special needs and inclusion. Uh, we're bringing forward new policies in relation to our children who come from different countries in the world. We're bringing forward uh, new policies in relation to children um, who have additional educational needs. We're bringing forward policies in Irish medium education. We're bringing forward uh, new policies in relation to how we transfer from primary to post-primary, transfer 2010. And we're, we're also changing in the past you had a situation where in our schools you had teachers and children and some other professionals going in there, but by and large that's the type of school workforce that we had with you know, our um, people, uh, support staff as well. But now we want to look at a much more whole school approach. We want to look at health professionals working in schools in a much more strategic way. We want to that all our policies are interconnected. So rather than looking at do we have too many teachers, I think we need to look at what training are we providing to our new teachers and our young teachers. And our young teachers have a huge role to play because they have so much energy and enthusiasm to bring in. Um, and mixed with the experience of some of our older teachers, that's a very good mix. So I want to see that we use our teacher workforce in a much more strategic way rather than saying we have too many teachers. I'm not quite sure what you meant by your last answer, but we found out that on average new teachers have to train for about four years, so before they actually get a uh, job and they have to do subbing. So what are you going to do to kind of improve that? Yeah, well, jobs? good question. A um, couple of things. Many of our teachers who are retired are employed by schools to sub. And our department has issued guidance to all the different schools to say that the they should be giving opportunities to newly qualified teachers. And we need our newly qualified teachers to get experience, but we also need their energy and enthusiasm in the classroom because young people like being taught by young people. The other point, the other way you can look at it, say you have a, a teacher in a classroom with 30 children or 25 children or 22 children. Well, a way that we can use teachers in that classroom is we have put P1 and P2 extra classroom assistance in in every single P1, P2. So that gives the teacher more opportunities to deal and work with all the different children because it's hard for the teacher if it's just the ratio is a teacher to 22 or 25 children. Equally, we've put programs into schools putting in specialised sports coaches, GAA and IFA sports coaches, so that because they're highly skilled in the way they motivate young people and they can go in with loads of energy, loads of new ways of teaching the kids and that the, the children love that, that intervention. But so there's different ways we can have teachers. But how is that helping, the, the too many teachers thing? Because many of the sports coaches are teachers as well. Many of the special needs people that are going in to the classroom, they're teachers as well. So what we, what we need is a range of experience in our teaching workforce. Like, we need some teachers who are specialised in child protection. We need teachers who are, have music skills, have drama, have art skills. We need teachers that have, um, you know, experience in uh, health and education. Teachers who have experience in special needs. So rather than looking at our teacher workforce in the narrow way that we did in the past, I think we need to broaden that concept. We also have demographic decline in our system. In other words, we've uh, 50,000 empty desks because people aren't having the same number of babies as they were in the past. So we do need to plan for our workforce. Could we ask your thoughts and opinion of being a woman in the NI Assembly and the Executive? Well, I'm a feminist. I, be, I believe very strongly that women should be playing active roles in society. I love to see uh, women of every age um, working and every class working at different levels and I'm making sure in this department that I am promoting gender equality. We're here and we're here to stay and we're here on the basis of rights and entitlement. Apparently you've been given the nickname Katrina Ruin. Do you have any responses to this or any other nicknames for fellow politicians? Well, I'm not. I, I'm not into you know, abusing politicians or name calling uh, people who are, I think it shows a gap in their lack of policies. Um, I would be worried if I wasn't hitting a raw nerve in society here because we need change. There's a lot of people who are opposed to change. The vast majority of people are supporting it. So um, I would be worried 
if uh, certain people uh, thought I was doing a good job uh, because there's a lot there's some people that are anti bringing about change thank you for meeting with us minister thanks for watching I've been Aving and I've Zanya <laughs>